morning everybody, very dull today. Yeah, I'm not sure what the weather's going to do, but I don't think it's anything very good. Yeah, very dark and dull and very, very windy, so take care if you're going outside. I think heavy rain might be forecast or rain certainly later on. I think it is to improve over the weekend again, but I think today's to be the worst day for a while, so um, take care and look after yourself. So not much else to report. I sent out the Westcut Weekly last night and some information in there about a, um, a climate change a rally which the Church of Scotland are asking people to attend if they can in November. So if you want to find out about that, let me know if you don't get Westcut Weekly. And apart from that, I think that was really about it. Not much else going on at the minute. Um, so that's maybe a good thing. So craft and hobbies yesterday went... Very well, I think. Um, everybody who's coming along is enjoying um, chatting, albeit at a distance. Well, it's really mostly kind of calling loudly to people over the distance. But uh, if you are uh, looking for something to do on a Wednesday afternoon, do come along. If you've not got a craft or a hobby, we will find you one that you can do. So we had people yesterday knitting, people um, making cards for Christmas, sewing cards and people doing um, cross-stitch. So lots of things going on that we can find you something to do. But it's a wee afternoon out, wee discussion, a wee chat, a wee cup of tea, and a wee wrapped biscuit. So everybody will be welcome if you would like to come along. Um, so uh, tomorrow the message should be on, and uh, hopefully... Um, into the weekend the weather will be a wee bit better. So we have been reading or we have started reading Acts and yesterday we had start of Acts chapter 2 and today we're going to read the middle part of Acts chapter 2 and tomorrow we will read the end of Acts chapter 2. So we'll make our way through Acts a little bit. So this, um, starting at verse 14, is entitled Peter's Message. Then Peter stood up with the other eleven apostles and in a loud voice began to speak to the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, listen to me and let me tell you what this means. These people are not drunk as you suppose. It is only nine o'clock in the morning. Instead, this is what the prophet Joel spoke about. This is what I will do in the last days, God says. I will pour out my spirit on everyone. Your sons and daughters will proclaim my message your young men will see visions and your old men will have dreams. Yes, even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will proclaim my message. I will perform miracles in the sky above and wonders on the earth below. There will be blood, fire and thick smoke. The sky will be darkened and the moon will turn red as blood before the great and glorious day of the Lord comes. And then whoever calls out to the Lord for help will be saved. Listen to those words, fellow Israelites. Jesus of Nazareth was a man whose divine authority was clearly proven to you by all the miracles and wonders which God performed through him. You yourselves know this, for it happened here among you. In accordance with his own plan, God had already decided that Jesus would be handed over to you and you killed him by letting sinful men crucify him. But God raised him from death, setting him free from its power, because it was impossible that death should hold him prisoner. For David said about him, I saw the Lord before me at all times. He is near me and I will not be troubled. And so I am filled with gladness and my words are full of joy. And I, mortal though I am, will rest assured in hope, because you will not abandon me in the world of the dead. You will not allow your faithful servant to rot in the grave. You have shown me the paths that lead to life, and your presence will fill me with joy. Amen. And God bless this reading from Acts chapter 2, and we will hear the rest of Acts chapter 2 tomorrow and make our way through Acts over the next week or so. So, I um, hope everybody's doing okay. Look after yourself, look after other people. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye.